This is October 2020 and variant 12, question number six. So what is the technique? Because all of you know the tan x is equal to sine x over cos x. So I use this formula here. And I think so rest part is not a hard one over cos sine over cos. And here I have one over one by sine. Now, you know, common sense here is a plus negative sign here plus in the middle. Here I will find LCM and make single fraction. Here I find LCM and make single fraction. I take LHS, left hand side. And cause and cause. Some student by mistake, so for example, two, two. What is the LCM? Two, two, ones are two. So what is LCM coming to? But some student by mistake think two, two is a four LCM, wrong. It means cause into cause is a wrong LCM. So only cause square, not wrong. No, is wrong actually, cause is the correct. Like a two and two, two LCM. So similarly cause and cause, so cause LCM. And same story here, what is LCM here? Sign. And if they match, if they match, what the terms have in the numerator, copy. And how deal, and this sign into one multiply, we got a one plus sign. Because when there's nothing under it, so this LCM can multiply with that. What is situation now? You can see here down, I have cos x and, uh, and into sine x. But upper part, see, first term match, and what is the basic criteria we use? Uh, a plus p time to a minus p, whenever you multiply, you can do two techniques, multiply, multiply, multiply. Or second option, you know that if first, if you know it very well, if first terms match, second terms match, signs opposite. What we can say, square of A minus square of P, same story here. So first one, one match, this sign, sign match and sign in the middle opposite. So square of one minus square of sign. If you don't like this way, you can do what? You can multiply, multiply, multiply and multiply. This is not wrong even. And one minus sine square comes in the numerator down cos X times two sine X. And what is one minus, you know, because basic formula sine square plus cos square is equal to one, all of you familiar. And if I bring sine square on this sine square on the other end so equal to cos square. But here some trick is come, coming here. <clears throat> what is trick? This cos will cancel the power and I get cos over sine. I get cos over sine. And problem is that we have to prove this one. So I have a two techniques because I need a 10. So 10, what is the 10 value? Look at here. This is my target to prove. My target to prove is one over 10 X. What is the 10 formula? All of you familiar sign by cause and you know it very well when it comes in fraction, this number flips up. So actually this thing I have here, it means, can I go reverse? Yes. So this cause can go in denominator. If you're not understanding, I give an idea. Three by two, you can write one here and two by three. So you can type this in calculator, you get this answer. So it means this cause you can write in denominator. When you write in denominator, it will look like this one over sine X by cos X. And wait a minute, wait a minute. I have space issues, so I make it a little bit up. <coughs> okay, so I'm saying what here? Mm, wait a minute. Okay, so I was saying what? That if I write this sine cos goes under sine, it will look like this. And this equal to one over 10. So I hope so clear plan. So one over 10 X and prove. So Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, first target is approved. Now, part number two. If you look at carefully this thing, I started the previous part. So previous part, you know it very well, the whole thing equal to one by 10. I repeat my words. This left hand side equal to one by 10. So there's the same thing here. You can see the same thing. So this I can remove by and write one by 10. You know, one thing I just tell you by part A, by part A. Example, in exam, in British course exam paper, you're not able to solve this first part, example. But at least part number two, you can do it using the first part connection, first part link. So this 10 multiplies there because cross multiply. So it becomes 2, 10, cube, x. Now 2 will come under it. I get 1 over 2, 10, cube, x. 
how to bring power three go on the other side become cube root so i do it here 10 is x is equal to cube root of one over two and for your knowledge he said in first quadrant sorry first two quadrants and 10 is positive is in first and third these are out of range so it will give you direct answer so simply take tan inverse and if i take tan inverse uh, 10 inverse of cube root cube root one over two and an answer i'm getting directly 38.4 degree now you ask me what well, can I ask one question to me sir you can ask sir is why you whenever power two we have for example we take a root we get a plus and minus two but make sure cube root we never get a plus and minus two make sure so i hope so the point is very very clear 